Thanks for coming to bar today. I hope that you're having a good day and staying warm. It's a really cold day. Let's start by setting our posture, feet under hips. Start lifting up through those legs and uh, engage those inner thighs. Lift the rib cage up off the waist. Make lots of room to engage this core here. Lifting the legs up in the hip joints. Roll the shoulders back. Tall spine, top of the head, up to the sky. Feel the back of the head over the back of your spine. And we'll take a big inhale up. And exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Last time, inhale up. And exhale down. Let's start our warm up with our feet wide and more of a parallel second position. So they're not totally turned out. We're gonna sit back into the squat and we're gonna walk side to side. I know we might not have a lot of room in our living rooms where we're working out. So just take as many steps as you can, holding on to this squat, taking big wide steps. So feeling some warm up happening in your thighs, in your quads, in your inner thighs. Our theme today is thunder and lightning. So we're gonna be doing some power moves and some quick moves. And our warm up will reflect this. This is one of our power moves, loading up those legs. All right, finish off whatever your last direction is. Come back to the center. And we're gonna come into a side to side run. If you don't wanna run, you can just step if you want to run. So we're really trying to get some lateral distance here, not critically sod, but getting some lateral distance side to side, quick lightning move, nice run for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's combine power and speed. We're gonna come down into a squat. We're gonna hold here for one, two, three, four, rise up to a releve or to a jump, come back down to the squat. One, two, three, four, quick up. Two, three, four, quick up. Two, three, four, quick up. Two, three, four, up and up and up and up four more up three two one shake it out hopefully you're warm let's start with our arm series we're going to start with a bent over row so we're going to uh, be in our skier position, knees soft, hinge from the hips, strong core, no booty out, no booty in, nice neutral spine. Let's row, 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 row. Bring those weights way up next to your chest. Squeeze your shoulder blades together at the top for three, two, one, face your, face your palms to the inside. Now you're pushing the elbows behind. Still squeezing that back, pushing the elbows behind, still bringing those weights up to your chest for three, two, one, palms face down. Again, pushing back with the elbows again. Back with the elbows, squeezing those shoulder blades. Three four, five, six, seven, eight. Palms face in, push the elbows back. Holding onto that core, maintaining that neutral spine. Try not to rock front to back. Four, three, two, one. Back to elbows out, two, 
three, four, five. Don't miss that squeeze. Seven, eight, palms face in, push the elbows back. You should really be starting to feel this in your back. Five, six, seven, eight. Let's do our pulse. Elbows up and back, palms down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Reaching those elbows back, palms face in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Set it down. Woo, nice job. Coming to the mat to do our tricep work. I should have said at the beginning, I really do recommend that you get two paper plates or something else that will glide on your floor to use as gliders. Uh, if you're on a hard floor, you can use socks or little hand towels, whatever will glide on your floor. We are going to do our triceps with these gliders. So we're going to be in a cobra position. Hips will be on the floor, uh, those hip bones, but we're not collapsing the back, nice strong back, lifting up with the abs from below. And we're going to lift up a little, hands are on the gliders. Let me see, it looks like I need to move back a little. Hands on the gliders. Lift the elbows up off from the mat a little. Out, in, elbow tap, up, out, in, elbow tap, up. So shoulders are strong, not collapsing through those shoulders. Don't let go of that core, protect the spine. Arms are going straight out, staying parallel, elbows staying in line. Elbows are not flaring out to the side. That will bring the work more to the chest. And right now we are working those triceps and you should feel this already. If you're not feeling it in your tricep, think about pulling your elbows together at the center of your body, almost trying to meet one another. If you don't have gliders, you can step your hands out, step them in, do that tap. Out and in, tap up. Out, in, tap. Out, in, tap. Four more like this. Out, in, tap. Out, in, tap. Three, two more. Tap, out, in, tap. Take a little rest. You can put the paper plates to the side. Coming into the Sphinx position, engage that core from below. We're gonna lift up and we're just gonna tap, tap tap those elbows. Again, elbows coming straight down, not flaring out to the side. They should be right in line with your shoulders. Tap, tap, tap for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You survived. That is a good intense Tricep workout, a good no equipment workout. Great for a hotel room, if we're ever in hotel rooms again. Coming back to standing, leave your mat out. We're gonna do push-ups at the end. Let's uh, come into our overhead press. We're gonna start with arms in front, 90 degrees, nice and straight, uh, even with your shoulder pressing up, bring it down. Press up, bring it down. Holding on to that core, not swaying your body front to back. Palms facing each other, shoulders staying away from the ears. It's a little bit harder to do when we've got our chest contracted and those muscles shortened across the front of the body. Up and down, up and down, nice job. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
One, let's open up into a traditional shoulder press. Up, down, up, down. Going a little faster here for a lightning. If you feel like this is putting any strain on your shoulders to go this speed, keep it at a slower pace. Not trying to, well, strain the shoulder muscles. Those are definitely working. Straining the shoulder joint, definitely don't do that. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's alternate those in, up, out, up, in, up, out, up. On the in, trying to keep those elbows parallel, not letting them flare out. Yes, your triceps are very tired. Yes, they're still doing a little bit of work here to maintain that arm position. Eight, up, seven, up, six, up, five, keeping those elbows up and parallel four, up, three, up, two, up, last one, and up. Whew. That was good, nice job. We're gonna do some bicep work. We're gonna do a crossover taps with our biceps. Set your posture, feet under hips, lift up through everything here. We're gonna keep those elbows glued to the side. Palms are facing the body, cross, cross. So just bring that bicep, uh, use the bicep to lift that arm up. Bring it across, tap it on the opposite side of the body. Cross, 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 cross. Let's add a little bit more tension to this. We're gonna keep our arms, the non-working arm is gonna be, or the non-moving arm will be in 90 degrees. So keeping those arms up, keeping tension on that arm, cross, 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 four, eight, seven, six, five, not gonna be done, three, two, one. Extend this non-working arm to the side, bend in the elbow, just one arm is cross, 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 four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Other side, extend that arm out to the side, cross, cross, cross. Shoulders down away from the ears. That static side should feel some nice tension. For four, three, two, one. Both arms out, bring them in and out, in and out. Bending at the elbows, bringing those weights up to the chest, arms extended, strong core, top of the head up to the sky for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and done. All right, let's finish our arm series with those push ups I promised. We are going to do two sets of eight. You can do them on your knees or on your toes, or miss, mix and match between the sets or mix and match with insets. No one is judging. No one can see you if you want to turn off your camera. So set yourself up into your plank position. Nice straight line, whether you're on your knees or on your toes, booty is in a nice straight line with the body. Coming down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and you can rest in a plank or you can come all the way down out of this and roll your wrists, resting here for eight. Seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, one. Last set for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Push back to a child's pose. Toes together, knees apart. Extending those arms, getting a nice stretch for the shoulders. Pushing back with the hips, getting a good stretch there. And put your mat to the side again, unless you have lots of room and can leave it out. We are going to get our chair or get to your banister or wall, whatever you're using for a bar. And we're gonna start with our Eagle Squat Series. So Eagle Pose in yoga, we wrap one leg over, try to wrap the leg around. And so it's a one-legged balance pose, foot is facing toward here, keeping your legs wrapped. We're gonna push back into a chair. Unlike in yoga, we've got some nice support here so we can focus more on pushing this glute behind us and less on trying not to fall. So lots of work happening in the standing leg. Thighs, inner thighs are squeezing. So you should be feeling this top leg even though there's no weight on it, it's still squeezing the body together. That will help you keep your balance if you want to try to do these uh, eagle squats with a balance component. Compressing your body together, you can press your hands together, will also bring your center of gravity into a tighter range, which makes it a little easier to keep your balance. Four more on this side. Three. We're gonna pulse. Two. And one, stay down here and we pulse. Pulse, pulse. Nice tall head, not letting it fall down. Good straight spine here. Pulse, pulse, pulse. For eight, seven, six, five, four, we're gonna do a hold, two, one, hold here. See if you can balance, bring those palms together for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, stand it up, shake it out. That was a lot of work on one side. Let's get ready to do the other. I totally cheated by doing my Good side first, my balance is not gonna be nearly as good on this side. So let's start with those full range eagle squats, pushing that glute behind, squeezing those inner thighs together. You should feel the top leg kind of resting on the bottom leg when you get closer to the bottom of this squat. Be able to just try fingertips to test your balance. If you're not fully comfortable taking your hands off all the way, one finger. Nice. Keep pushing back. Four, four. Three. Two. Stay down here and we pulse, pulse, pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Squeeze those inner thighs. See if you can bring your palms together and balance for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, rise it up, unfurl that leg, shake it out, nice. 
Uh, we're gonna come to center floor to do some lateral lunge with a glider. So we are going to uh, start out slow. You'll have the glider under one foot. This gliding foot is going to bend. This fixed foot will stay straight. We're gonna glide out, touch the floor, glide back in. So this is our power move on this. We are gonna come into a faster lightning move. So nice and slow, really slow on the way out, tap down, really slow on the way in. Feel those inner thighs working. Reaching out, good distance. Oops, I forgot to tap the floor. Coming out, tap the floor, pull it in. Four more like this. Nice. And three, slow roll. And two, slow pull. Last one, slow pull. Now we're going to bend the standing knee and we're gonna glide this foot out and in super fast. So glide, 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 glide. A little bit of balance, a little bit of inner thigh, a little bit of quad, out, out, out out this standing knee really strong, not collapsing inward, maintaining its position, gauge that quad, keep it in place for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, stand up. Other side, we're gonna start with that power move, gliding knee bends, coming out, tap the floor, slow draw in. Slow out, tap, slow in. Those inner thighs have already worked quite a bit on the other side. So they should immediately be feeling the work happening. Out, lots of weight on that foot. All the weight that you can muster. In and out. And nice, out, in, four more like this, four, out, and three, out, two, out, last one. Well, let's just do one more full rep because I started to count at a weird place. Draw it in. Get ready for that quick move. Standing leg bends. Moving leg so straight out, 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 out. Holding strong in the squat. Head in line with the spine. So not neck crane, but definitely don't drop that head either. Also mess up your balance. For eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stand it up. Coming back to our bar, we are going to do some pushbacks and then some standing fire hydrants. So for the pushbacks, you're going to have your hands, uh, your arms on the bar. Don't drop your head though. Keep that head nice and neutral. Draw the knee in, kick it back. Draw it in, kick it back. So right now we're kind of warming up. We're feeling how our core works to draw the knee in and then how it works to protect the lower back. You don't want your lower spine flexing on that pushback. When you feel like you've got the muscle series down, let's speed it up. Kick, 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 push it back. So we're using a little momentum here, but that leg is gonna get heavy and it will be muscle work. Kick, 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 kick. For eight, seven, still using that core to draw it in. 
five, four, three, two, one. Set it down, shake it out. That standing glute was working. Coming back down, let's start slow. Feel the core engagement to draw the knee in. Feel the core protecting the spine from flexing. In and out, in and out. Nice job. Good spine control. Couple more like this. Get ready to speed it up. All right, if you'd like, speed it up. Using power to push that heel out. So not so much a leg swing as a kick. In, in, in and out. Core both directions. Trying to keep some height uh, with that leg. We're bent over. That gives us a little more leverage to have that back leg stay high above the ground. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out. Continuing to uh, face the bar. Uh, we're going to bend that knee 90 degrees, lift and down, lift and down. So this hip stays where it is. We're not lifting the hip and moving the body. The work is coming from the core, from those obliques. It's coming from the glutes. Feel the sides of those glutes engage. Lifting up tall, lift, lift, lift for four, three, two, one leg stays in the air, front, back, front, back, just a little bit, a few inches front and back, foot flexed, pushing that heel back, feel the position of the hips, make sure they're square for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, other side, bend that knee, flex the foot, lift and down, lift and down. Nice job. Tall, straight spine, lifting, lifting, lifting through the standing leg. So feel your hip socket lifting above that leg rather than collapsing down into it. Rib cage lifted up off the waist. Lift, lift for eight, seven, six, five. This glute should be working for three, two, one. Keep that leg lifted, flex foot in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Set it down. Let's finish out this bar work with some calf raises. Let's come into our first position. Heels, well, start with feet parallel, right toes on the floor, open up that knee all the way from the hip, left toes on the floor, open up that knee all the way from the hip. You should feel this big turnout here. At least for me, that gives me a lot more turnout than just opening my feet. Rise up, set it down, rise up. Simple releves here, releve. Work on feeling so, so tall. You can bring your arms up for balance and work on that as well lift and down. When you're rising up, it is a calf raise, but also feel these quads engage to move your legs away from one another. Also lifting up with the calves for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, stay up here, plie, walk the heels together, plie, 
plie. I'm not coming into a full grand plie, just a little bit deeper than I would be in a demi with my heels on the mat. Four, four, three, two, one. Hold it here, last strength move. Holding here for eight, seven, six, core engaged, five, thighs open, open, three, two, one, and done. <sighs> Let's get our mat and get ready for our core series. You're gonna want those paper plates or whatever you're using for gliders. We are going to start with the mat folded because we need to glide. And I don't think anything will glide on a mat. That's the purpose of a mat. We're gonna have one under the right hand and one under the left foot coming. Oops, I think I need to move back again. So coming into a knee plank, we are going to have a nice straight line, shoulder, hip to knee. Lifting up that left leg that has the glider, we're gonna open arm and leg, open. So feel those hips staying rock solid, not rocking side to side. If this is enough, and this is definitely a lot of work here, that core should be working continually to stabilize you as you try to destabilize yourself. Stay here. If not, come up onto that opposite toe for eight, seven, six. Again, hip steady. Five, four, three, two, and one. Switching sides. Starting in that knee plank. Want to make sure we've got that movement down. Other leg extended. Oops. That is not working for me. Get here. Sliding and gliding. Nice movement. Nice square hips to the floor. You can get a really good distance while we've got the support of that knee. So take advantage of how big you can open. And if you want to do your last eight, up on your toes, come up on your toes now for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and set that down. Nice job. Now we are going to roll out the mat. We've got full support. We'll come onto our back. And let's do some bicycles. We're gonna do slow and then fast. Laying on the mat, knees up at 90 degrees. You can lightly hold onto your ears, keeping your elbows open, or you can cross over your arms across your shoulders. Slow up, center, side, center. Really focus when you get to the center, recommit to that lifted head and shoulders from the mat. Pressing the belly button down toward the spine, making as little space as possible between the belly button and the spine. And that will lift your head and shoulders up higher. So really feel a lot of core work happening here. This is all pure muscle at this speed. And center, side and center. Four, three, two, and one. Speed it up. 
now we are using a little bit of momentum, moving fast, still working hard, continuing to press that belly button down. Reach, extending those legs as far as you can. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hug the knees, rock side to side. Take a moment to catch your breath. We are going to get those gliders again. Rolling up the mat this time, the, both gliders will be under our feet. Roll up the mat to make room for them. We are going to start with our fast this time and then we'll go to our slow. We're gonna do mountain climbers and then we're gonna do tucks. Uh, gliders are definitely optional for the mountain climbers. So with the gliders, we'll be running like this. You can of course do that without or you can slow it down if you're not up to the speed. So let's get set, shoulders under hips, gliders under toes. If you'd like, run that mountain climber. Run up the mountain. Run. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, take a break, roll your wrists, get ready for our slow work. We're gonna extend those gliders once again. Uh, we're going to do knee pulls. So if, uh, if you're not up to extending those feet, you can just keep your toes tucked and lift up those knees. If you are onto the gliders, tuck, extend, tuck, extend. So on this tuck, trying not to bring your glutes too high into the air. Use your core to draw those knees toward your chest, extend, in, extend, in, extend, four more, four, extend, Extend, three, extend, two, extend, last tuck, extend. Gliders to the side, rolling your mat back out. We're gonna come into our pretzel series. So sitting here, bottom leg, straight out from the hip, 90 degrees. Top leg straight out from the hip, 90 degrees. Strong supporting hand, not collapsing into the shoulder. Top hand on the hip, tilt to lift that leg up. Pulse it up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, push it back. So your core is engaged to keep this body lifted. You almost don't need this bottom hand because your core is doing so much work. Four, three, two, one, point the toe, kick it out. Out, out, out. Four, three, two, one, keep it extended. Lift, lift lift, lift for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Coming to the other side, setting up. Nice big 90 degree angle here. Top arm extended, uh, uh, right arm extended, top hand up on this hip, lift that leg, pulse up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
One, flex the foot, push back, 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 strong through the supporting shoulder, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, point the foot and kick. Kick, knee stays hovered above the mat for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep that leg extended, lift, 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 lift for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, set it down, coming onto our back for our last bit of work in this session before we come into our stretch. So we're gonna come into a glute bridge, back, uh, back on the mat, tuck your shoulder blades under to open your chest, palms flat on the mat. You're gonna get a little support from your arms. Push those legs up into the air. Lift up your left toes, set them down, shift all the weight to your left side, keeping your heels even. Lift up that right leg, lightning, zigzag, zigzag down, zigzag up. Trying to keep this left knee as steady as you can, keeping those glutes lifted up above the mat. Lots of work happening here. So much destabilization, that core is working so hard. Those hands are helping to stabilize you on the mat. Four, down, three, down, two. What I'm saying has nothing to do with what our legs are doing, that's fine, last one. And put that foot down. If you can, stay up here during your rest, keeping those hips lifted as high as you can in the air. Should be a lot easier now that you've got both feet. Resting here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Transfer the weight to your right foot, lift up those toes, set them down, left leg in the air, zigzag. Lightning movement, down and up. Strong right knee. I think it's impossible for it not to sway a little, but really work to control it as much as you can. Feel your core engage, especially as that leg goes out to the side. For four, three, two, Last one. Both feet lift up again. See if you can hold it here. Just eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Roll down to the mat. Open your legs into a V. Sit it up. Staying in this nice wide V. We're going to tuck one foot into the thigh of the other. See if you can open into a V even more. Keeping both glutes on the mat. Don't let one hip hike up. We're gonna reach up and over to the side for the stretch. Keeping the shoulders parallel to the wall in front of you, looking under your arm. Rising up, turn to face that leg, arms up, big inhale, exhale, fold forward over that leg. Again, both glutes staying on the mat. Nice big stretch here. Roll in. Switching to the other side. Tuck that foot in, open into a V. Up and over. Side stretch first. Up 
back to the center, turn to face, inhale, exhale, fold over that leg. Nice extension here. Coming back to the center, hands and knees. Tuck your toes under, walk back to a standing forward fold. Big stretch all along the back of the body. Trying to straighten the knees as much as you can. Let the head hang, hands rest where they fall. You can take a yoga toe hold if you'd like, or you can just let them dangle or rest on your legs. And staying down here, open your legs really wide to a V, hands on the mat or on your hips, stretching those inner thighs. You can reach your arms through the legs, transfer the weight a little more to the front of the feet, more toward the ball of the foot and the toes. See what that does for your stretch. And slowly roll up, one vertebra at a time, head last. Walk your feet into a more comfortable but still very wide second position. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, plie and fold. Inhale. And exhale, pushing those knees out over the toes. Inner thighs worked hard today. They should feel really strong. And ladies, take your curtsy. Gentlemen, take your bow. Thank you for joining me for yoga today. I mean, for bar. I hope to see you again next week.